Good afternoon, dudes. Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Duty's Daggers. Welcome in. We got some unboxings today. Um, two, actually. One is knife related, one is a couple knives. So, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping in. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, just take my word for it. You're going to like the channel, so you can just go ahead and subscribe now. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. And uh, like the video, please, also. And uh, Instagram, too, is uh, duties underscore daggers, if you want to go check that out. So this first one here is from uh, Troy at Northwoods Leatherworks Co. And if you've been following along on the channel, I don't, don't want to make sure I don't cut anything here. I think I'm safe right there. If you've been following along uh, with the channel, you probably know what these are. What these are for. So we got the Northwoods Leatherworks Co. bag here. And let's just take the cat out of the bag. Bam! 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 All right, so this is my first uh, Northwoods Leatherworks Co. slip made for my first Ohio River Jack, the sheep's foot. Um, I soon after bought another one, the Warncliffe Ohio River Jack. And then very soon after that, I ordered the Spearpoint Ohio River Jack. So now I have all three ORJs, and now I finally have two more slips for my boys. So my boys are going to be nice and comfy in their new leather homes. I'm super stoked. Got some slip life. All right. <laughs> awesome. So I got the same leather. This is called, uh, I think it's called Pueblo, like cracked Pueblo, I believe, or something Pueblo. Um, I just really like it. It looks really nice. It, it already comes uh, kind of worn looking. Hold on, my dog got the package. No, can't have that, buddy. It's not for you. Um, it kind of, you know, it's called cracked. Pueblo. You can kind of tell a little bit better on the uh, the brand new one. You can tell the what the patina looks over time. It, uh, it darkens up, you know, which is awesome. That's what I like about leather is it gets a patina over time, and it becomes really yours. You can also see the, the outline of the knife really wears itself in. Um, you know, if I try to put one of these other Ohio River Jacks into the sheep's foot slip, it doesn't fit right because the sheep's foot one has been formed to fit perfectly in here. Um, it's just cool, man. Um, so, you can see the spear point one sits farther in the handle. The blade sits farther in the handle than any of the others. So, this one is for the spear point. This is a little bit smaller. So, let's stick her in here. I'm going to try to think of the best orientation. Let's see. Do I want it that way? I should probably put them all the same way or else it's going to bother me. Yeah, I should. All right, so it's going in this way. Bam. And the Warncliffe. Bam. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Baby. Look at those sexy boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so good to have them all in there. Gosh. Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it so much. So I got the same leather, but different color threads on all of them. The OG is blue, Warncliffe green, Spearpoint red. Gosh, this looks good, man. He makes quality stuff, dude. He really does. Perfect fit. There's just enough sticking out for you to grab it and easily pull it out. Oh, I'm so stoked, man. You know, initially when I first got all three, I was thinking, well, I've been using the sheep's foot uh, longer than these other two. And, you know, I've actually been using it. So maybe I'll keep this one as my user and keep these two kind of nice and pretty, right? Um, not really use them. But I don't know if I can do that because now that they have their own little slips, 
it's going to be real tempting to slip this in my pocket, or slip this in my pocket, because I've been carrying this almost every single day. Um, I just, I stick it in my pocket along with my primary carry, um, especially if I'm carrying my, my fixed blade for the day, my uh, Bradford Guardian 3, I will absolutely carry this. If I'm carrying a, a folder, sometimes I'll carry the McBee, um, but most of the time I've been just carrying the Ohio River Jack. Um, so now that I think about it, I don't think I am going to keep any of them pristine. Uh, I think I'm just going to use them all, you know. I can't resist, um, you know, especially, you know, the, especially the spear point since it's something a little different. Um, and this is the sliciest Ohio River Jack. This has the thinnest measurement behind the edge. Um, so I just want to, I want to cut stuff, you know. <laughs> so... All right, let's move on to the next package. But man, I am so happy with these. Thank you so much, buddy. You did an amazing job, as usual. Um, hit him up if you want some leather work done. He, he does a lot, lots of stuff other than just slips. Um, hit him up on Instagram, Northwoods Leatherworks Co. There you go. Made in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Awesome. All right, let's get to the next one here. So this next package is the result of a trade that I did recently. With the one, the only, hang on, hang on, with the one, the only, the myth, the legend, Tactical Terry, baby. He also sent me some stickers a while back, um, so if you win a giveaway from me, you're going to get a Tactical Terry sticker as well. Let me let the dog out. So I was talking to Terry recently uh, about a trade and uh, we settled on a trade and holy shit he said it was a large box but I was not expecting this um, there's two knives in here so yeah it's uh, a little bit overkill there bud <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to open this off camera I think let's see where's the um, so I had listed a couple knives up for sale um, they didn't sell and then uh, Terry hit me up and was like, hey, uh, I forget how it, the conversation even started, to be honest. Um, but I was like, yeah, actually, I have uh, a couple knives I want to trade. And he actually had one that I... No, I know how, how it started. I, t I had mentioned in my live stream that I was looking for this specific knife. And he hit me up and was like, hey, I have one. Uh, do you want to trade for it? I said, hell yeah. Um, so I mentioned a couple knives that I had that I wanted to trade. And just so happened that he wanted one of mine, and it just worked out perfectly. Um, so one of these knives, there we go, I've really been after for quite a while. I missed the, uh, the initial drop, and um, just wasn't able to get one, you know. So, let's see, we got a lot of wrapping paper, so I'm not missing a note or anything. Okay. All right, here we go. So let's do this one first. This is not the the uh, the specific one I was just talking about. Um, so this is the uh, this is an O knife, the Roboto Two. I've been hearing some good things about this. Um, so this is kind of a secondary trade. The the main trade is what we'll look at here in a sec. Um, let's check this thing out, man. I've only ever handled one O knife, and it was. It was an older one. I even forget what it was called. But, um, but I haven't handled any of these newer ones with the crossbar lock, so I'm pretty pretty excited. All right, so all right, we have aluminum handles, coated green. It already feels like a Kaiser, and that's because these are made by Kaiser. Okay. Yeah. Nice sheep's foot blade. It feels similar to a drop bear. Um, not quite as good as the drop bear, I gotta say. I think the drop bear feels a little better. Um, but these are very similar knives. Um, both aluminum handles, you know, um, both crossbar locks, both made by Kaiser. I just think the drop bear feels, yeah, it feels a little snappier. Like the detent feels a little better on the drop bear. Man, the, 
Whenever I don't pick up the drop bear for like a week or two and then I pick it back up, I'm, I'm always amazed initially. I'm always like, whoa, dude. I forgot how good this was. Um, but this does feel quite good. Just not quite as good as the drop bear. Let's see, are the tabs the same? Yeah, they look pretty much... Yeah, they're exactly the same. Yeah, there's a lot of similarities. This is kind of... I guess this is kind of O-Knife's drop bear, pretty much. Same blade steel, 154CM. Um, there's the Azo design. So they are designed both by Azo. Interesting. Deep cray pocket clip. Not in set, but we got the flat-headed screws there. Same as the drop bear. Yeah, a lot of similarities here. But I love the drop bear, so that's good. They're almost exactly the same size, too. Damn, yeah, these are very similar. Well, cool. I mean, they, they, geez, they both have the long jimping, too. So many similarities, wow. This is kind of like a, a sheep's foot version of the drop bear, sort of. So that's, uh, that's nice, man. I don't think you can adjust the crossbar lock, though, like you can on the drop bear. At least I don't think. Um, cool, man. Awesome. I'm pretty happy with that. I guess there's a coin as well. Let's see. Let's check this out. Low knife coin. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that's... It feels a little light to be copper. Alright. Maybe I'll put that in the giveaway pile. Yeah, I think I will. The uh, the coin, at least. All right, cool. I like that. I'll probably do a, a cut test video uh, coming up with that. All right, let's get on to the star of the show here. I'm really, really looking forward to this one. If I can get this put away correctly. There we go. All right. Star of the show. Here we go. All right, it's a Devo, baby. Oh yeah, and we got the nice leather case. We got the sticker, the bottle opener, big old rag, microfiber, huge microfiber rag. All right, let's get in here. This is the Stout, baby. Yeah! Damn, that looks good. This is like, I don't know what this exa is exactly called. Oh my god, it's got a fancy backspacer? Holy shit, dude. Damn. I didn't know that. What kind of carbon fiber is this? It's like copper, sh is it called copper shred? I don't know. Damn, dude. That backspacer is beautiful. All right, I've heard legendary things about the detent on this guy. Let's try it out. Oops. Okay, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. It's quite stiff. Yeah, that's nice. Really, really comfy choke up spot. Nice hollow grind up here. Not super deep, but it's there. The signature stout. Uh, it kind of looks like a beak to me. This uh, this this blade profile looks like a beak. Very distinctive blade shape. Man, this carbon fiber is beautiful. So we got like this PVD coated and looks like tumbled uh, titanium bolster. Titanium liners, obviously. Wire clip. Man, that backspacer on the inside looks really nice too. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that D10 is really good. Excellent. 
yeah, kind of just exactly what I was expecting. Just, uh, yeah, really comfy, choked up, and back. Um, great detent. I like how, you know, there's a lot of kind of dips and valleys and curves in here, but it's still kind of a crowned spine. It's kind of interesting how they manage that. Um, so I like that, you know. Your thumb has a nice little ramp, almost like a, yeah, it's a little ramp right here to rest on when you're choked up. And if you want to put your pinky or your uh, your index finger out here for some utility cuts, it kind of has a nice little valley to sit right in there. Or you can go further up. Not a very good uh, sharpening choil area at all. But, um, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, this is a really... I mean, this carbon fiber is beautiful, man. Jeez. I've never seen anything like that. I don't own a whole lot of carbon fiber. <laughs> uh, what else we got in here? Looks like I've got... Oh, yeah, I think you said... Yeah, I think you said there was skiffs in here. So there's the original bearings. I don't know why there's two sets. But there's a... What is that little tab thing? Is that a... Is that the lock bar insert piece? I don't know what that is. Um, we have some other pivots. Oh, there's the pivot with the logo on it right there. I like this one better without it for sure. Um, and then, oh, there's the old backspacer. Okay, cool. Damn, Terry, you hooked me up, brother. I appreciate it a lot, dude. This is awesome. I'm I'm very happy with this trade. <laughs> yeah, that D10 is is pretty freaking good, dude. <laughs> yeah. Thumb flex decent too. <clears throat> There's not like a super comfy spot to put your thumb. But you kind of just like stick it in there and just go for it, and it, it it works, you know. For sure it works. But obviously, this is a knife meant to be reverse flicked. It just is. Mm, slight blade play. Let me see if I can give her a little twist here, see what happens. There we go. A little stiffer, but we got rid of the blade play. The uh, the opening action is just fine. It's just not quite as smooth on the drop, but that's fine. Yeah, this is nice, man. This is a nice knife. Um, I would compare it with the mash, but I have it lent out right now to a buddy. Uh, Nate, actually. Um, I mean, yeah, for their first, uh, this, you know, this was their first design. Um, for their first design, this is uh, pretty killer, you know? Um, pretty freaking killer for their first first uh, design. I mean, Colin's designed knives before, but, you know, their, their first design as a, as a team. We're slightly off center. I wonder if I loosen that back up. If it goes back, let's see. A little bit. I'll have to mess with it. I think I'm pretty sure I can get that centered. If I if I try my tricks. Cool. Awesome. Sweet unboxings, dude. We got uh, the stout that I've been wanting for a while. We got our our three amigos in their little their little leather jackets now. <laughs> what a good day, man! I'm stoked. Thanks, Terry, for the trade. Um, yeah, awesome. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. And um, oh yeah, before I end the video, you need to know. 
that my buddy Diener has just started his channel, finally. Um, if you have been around the channel for a while, you know who Diener is. Good friend of mine um, that I met through the channel. Um, we've become good buddies, and um, he's got an amazing collection, you know, uh, and I think you're going to want to see his videos, you know. He has uh, only one video out right now. It's kind of his intro video to his channel. Um, but he has a lot of good stuff planned. I know he's been saving up unboxings for like a couple weeks to save for the channel. So he's got like some insane bangers <laughs> still in the boxes waiting for him to film the unboxings. He has amazing self-control. I don't know how he does that. But um, yeah, go subscribe to him. I'll put a link to his channel down below. He's a good guy. Let's get him uh, Let's get him up to like 100 subs uh, pretty quick. If we can do that, that'd be awesome. Thank you guys. I love you. Please like the video before you bounce, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.